Now let's do the turret as well. Super cannon. So turrets have two important things. The first thing is that you have the actual turret itself, which is pretty not specific to our super cannon. However, you need to go to actors now, and you'll see that what didn't get duplicate for, duplicated for us was this actor. Um, so turrets have the turret actor and the turret itself, the turret, uh, the turret data type. I said turret like 80 times there. Uh, turret and then the actor. So let's actually duplicate this because it didn't get duplicated. And rename this to super cannon turret actor. And I don't think the name matters here, but I could be wrong. And here's where you go into events and you need to change this to super cannon. There we go. So now when this when the turret for the super cannon is whatever is any when it when it happens when it turns it'll create this this actor here which will force the turret to turn which is the little ball head on the on the photon cannon um hmm, untitled map 3 I should probably save but anyways I don't think I'll have to I don't think anyone's going to want to download this since it doesn't really make sense to download this uh, anyways, I should get back on track here. So while we're here, we also need to duplicate attack missile, which didn't get duplicated in the original unit duplication we did, um, which is just an unfortunate thing about making a new unit with a missile. Making uh, units with missile effects, I mean missile weapons um, or structures like this photon cannon is just a lot harder than a regular meleeing or meleeing, whatever people say, uh, zealot or something like that, or zergling. So super cannon oops attack missile suggest okay and now in this dude we want to change the token field which will set all the nice events for us down below here to be a weapon the copy which I haven't renamed yet which I should have um, and the model see the model got changed here to something weird what you actually want to do is find the missile so P That'll be a reason for not getting anything shot out. Photon cannon weapon. That's what I believe it should be. Let me check the original. Yeah. Let's go back here and check the events. The events look good. Yeah. I should rename that soon. So this is pretty much good. We're good to go. Let's close that and let's go back to our viewing. Oh, weird. It doesn't let. Oh, I guess because I haven't saved, it won't let me view my own maps data. Um, well, anyways, I should be fine, hopefully. Super cannon. Let me rename the uh, the weapon unit, super cannon weapon, and I'll do a re-explanation of all this uh, after just to cover everything. So in here, where is the mover? This is another problem here is this mover um, got changed because Blizzard made it so that it will look for the super cannon weapon mover when I rename it, and unfortunately I never made one because it wasn't part of the... I didn't duplicate it, I mean. So let's just use... We can just use the photon cannon weapons mover. Uh, the mover controls the speed of the missile, the acceleration, all kinds of crazy crap, whether it spins like a twirl or whatever. You can look at movers another time, but for this case, we just want the same mover as the photon cannon itself. So our super cannon is just going to use... Our super cannon uh, energy ball is just going to travel with the same thing, and that's all good. And uh, let's go to, oops, why is it like that? That's weird, I've never seen that. Um, let me reselect it. Ah, oh, there we go. So the weapon itself has the right stuff in here. I don't think we need to set this. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we don't. Um, and we got our unit here with the mover, our turret with associated actor, our launch missile, with our ammo unit set to our unit that we duplicated and of course the damage thing attack ah here's what I'm missing so in our attack we have to go back to our attack actor and add the missile actor that we just made and set that okay good actually you know what it's actually pretty brilliant what blizzard did is because because I added because I no oh, hold on let's go back here um, Super, because I uh, just duplicated this actor, uh, this one right here, and made this missile actor in here. Oops, well, I can just stay here. In our attack thing that we did from earlier, that sets the missile actor, uh, which controls the look of the energy ball or whatever. 
uh, it actually automatically went to the attack missile actor that I just made because it was looking for it. Um, whereas before it was set to custom and had nothing, if you remember earlier. So at this point, everything should work. And actually, I'm not going to save. And if I press U here, oh, I already am here. And if I go to structure and I place a super cannon, it's pretty big. Let's see how, uh, show pathing. Yeah, that's, the footprint's a little bit too big for it, but uh, whatever. And let's place for me, good. And let's play some hostile, uh, I don't know what's fun to kill these days. Oops. I think Zergling's been a bit overdone, including by myself. Uh, what do people never kill? Ultralisks. Let's play some angry Ultralisks around here. And if everything goes right, we should hear a sound when it fires. Actually, uh, yes, we should hear a sound. Um, the place to check. The, place, the way to always check is just to search for Photon. And just look, is there anything different here? No. So if we go back to Super, and we see our attack, um, and we look at Launch Assets, we can see there's a sound, Photon Cannon Attack Launch. And we go to Impact Map, we can see that there's a model. Blizzard actually made a model for when the Photon Cannon impacts, and a sound, which is already set nicely because we duplicated. So that's all good. So we go in-game, and everything should work. Uh, yep, so as we see here, it is shooting properly. The turret is turning, the little head thing. Um, and these guys aren't acquiring me for some reason. Oh, is that because I set him to... Yeah, I did set him to invulnerable. So, oh well, now he's stuck and can't do anything. But anyways, uh, you can see the weapons proper here. Is that right? Uh, I didn't know they set that for Protoss buildings to have that uh, portrait. Anyways, um, it's pretty much flawless right from the get-go. So, now that I've demoed the full thing. I'm just going to go review it um, so I can make sure that people know how to do this from now on. So I'm just going to do it from the tree view here from the object explorer and by the way check your I have everything checked here actually. Um, check yours that you're similar to mine because I find this is good to edit like this. Anyway so we have our super cannon and of course you have the actor for itself, which controls how it looks in game, any sort of icon stuff, event. Uh, I didn't actually open the events for the unit itself, but there's a lot of crap that gets duplicated. That's just regular unit stuff. Um, basically, this actor wouldn't function without this field, so it's important to know that. And um, anyway, so you have this, and you have the actual attack actor, which controls the sounds, the what missile launches, and unfortunately, when you duplicate, the art missile doesn't get duplicated itself. So you have to uh, go duplicate it manually. And uh, then the splat, which I don't even know if I did anything here. It doesn't really matter. Um, of course, the two effects, which work together, that change the footprint. Um, the mover was set in the, uh, in the actual weapon unit, which is the little energy ball. The mover is set right here. Uh, then you have the turret with its corresponding turret actor, which you had to duplicate manually too. And then you have the um, uh, the weapon itself, which ha controls the effects. And basically all of this ties together to have a working um, missile firing unit. Um, but generally I find to make uh, mil melee units like uh, Zealots, Zerglings, whichever, just so much easier to make because you don't have to go through the turret, you don't have to go through the attack missile, you don't have to go through blah, 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 blah. So... Um, it's mostly just that the duplication doesn't cover everything when you duplicate, and I hope it'll, well, it'll probably change in the future, so, um, anyway, so I hope this tutorial helped to uh, iron out some of the woes of uh, duplicating units, and uh, thanks for watching.